Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we are going to do part 2 of the Euler Theorem videos. In this part, we're going to actually solve the problem that we saw on the last video. And this problem is the 2008 Pumac number theory A, problem number 5. So you can first pause the video to try the, out the problem for yourself. Ready? Let's start. So, we see that we have f of x equals x prime x prime x prime x. And we want to find the last two digits of f to the power of 17 plus f to the power of 18 plus f to the power of 19 plus f to the power of 20. Well, the last two digits, that just basically means this f to the power of 17 plus f to the power of 18 plus f to the power of 19 plus f to the power of 20 mod 100, correct? So, in order to find this, you will find that if you just calculate this mod 100, you will find that it'll take a lot of calculations. And, uh, well, just trust me on that. So instead, we'll be finding it mod 4 and mod 25, smaller numbers, and then using the Chinese remainder theorem to combine these two to find the unique value mod 100. So we'll start by doing the mod 25 because I have a handy table already drawn out here. And But what does the this stuff mean? Well... Well, if we want to find 17 power of 17 power of 17 power of 17 mod 25, then that's still pretty big to evaluate. 17 power of 17 is already big enough, so we don't really want to evaluate that. So instead, we can use the idea of Euler's theorem to instead find x power of x power of x mod 20, or 17 power of 17 power of 17 mod 20, and then take this value, and then plug it back in here to find x power of whatever that is, mod 25. And this is because 20 is the totient function of 25. And solving x prime of x prime of x mod 20 is still kind of hard. So we can do this one step further and find the value of x prime of x mod the totient function of 20, which is 8. And if you even wanted, you can take it a step further to get x mod 4. So first of all, Let's begin by calculating the value of 20 power of 20 power of 20 power of 20 mod 25. Notice that 20 and 25 are not relatively prime, so we can't even use this stuff. This, this is irrelevant. But notice that 20 squared is 400, which is 0 mod 25. So 20 power of 20 power of 20 power of 20 is obviously also 0 mod 25, because 20 power of 20 power of 20 is divisible by 2. So for the rest of these boxes, we can just cancel them out. And similarly, we can try to do something for 18, because if you noticed, 20 and 18 are not relatively prime, so all of this stuff is irrelevant. So notice that 18 squared is 324, which is negative 1 mod 25. So that means 18 to the power 4 is negative 1 squared, which is 1 mod 25. So that means 18 power 18 power 18 power 18 is also 1 mod 25, because 18 power 18 power 18 is obviously divisible by 4. So this is 1, this we can all cancel out. Now let's go on to the real stuff, x equals 17 and 19. To do this, we'll start out using the actual table. 17 mod 4, well that's just 1. And 19 mod 4, that's 3. Now we have to plug 1 back in here. 17 to the power of 1 mod 8, that's also just 1. 9 to the power of 3 mod 8, well that's just 3 to the power of 3 mod 8, which is 27 mod 8, which is 3. Now we have to plug 1 in here. 17 to the power of 1 mod 20, well that's just 17. And 3 to the power of, well, 19 to the power of 3 mod 20, well that's just negative 1 to the power of 3 mod 20, which is negative 1. Finally, we have to plug this in here to get 17 to the power of 17 mod 25. Okay, well, we don't really want to evaluate that because that is a huge number. So instead of using 17, let's scratch that, and instead use negative 3, since that's a smaller number. So we just need to find the value of 17 to the power of negative 3 mod 25. Well, what's the 17 to the power of negative 1 mod 25? Well, that's just the inverse of 17 mod 25, which is 3. You can check for yourself, because... 3 times 17 is 51, which is 1 mod 25. Okay, I just checked it for you. Well, anyways, 
17 prime negative 1 is 3 mod 25, so that means 17 prime negative 3 is 3 to the power of 3 mod 25, which is 27 mod 25, which is 2 mod 25. Now we have to find 19 prime negative 1 mod 25. Well, that's just the inverse of 19 mod 25, which is 4. In this, you can actually check for yourself. So, now we know the values of f of 17, 18, 19, and 20 mod 25. So we just need to find the value. So that means the value of 17, f17 17 plus f18 plus f19 plus f20 added together is just equal to 2 plus 1 plus 4, which is equal to 7 mod 25. Phew, that was a tongue twister. Now we can do the easier part, which is mod 4. Take a little break from all that intense math and talking. So, first of all, we notice that 20 to power of 20 to power of 20 to power of 20 is obviously 0 mod 4, because 20 is 0 mod 4. So 20 power of any power is 0 mod 4. Now, f of 18, well, that's also just 0 mod 4, because 18 squared is 0 mod 4. So that means 18 power of 18 power of 18 power of 18 is 0 mod 4, because 18 power of 18 power of 18 is divisible by 2. f of 17, well, 17 power of 17 power of 17 power of 17, well, that's just 1 to power of 1 power of 1 power of 1, which is 1 mod 4. And finally, f to power of 19, well, that's just... Negative one to power of negative one to power of negative one to power of negative one, which is negative one mod four. And so, if you add them together, you find that f of seventeen plus f of eighteen plus f of nineteen plus f of twenty is equal to zero mod four. So now we have the values of f of all of f of seventeen plus f to eighteen plus f nineteen plus f twenty mod four, and mod twenty five. And now we can find the value mod twenty, and this is just 32 mod 100. Well, not mod 20, mod, mod 100, sorry. You can confirm this because 32 is 7 mod 25, and 32 is divisible by 4. And thus, the last two digits is 32. Hey guys, I'm here with another uh, modular arithmetic video. Today we're going to learn about the Chinese remainder theorem. So you go online and there's a ton of complicated equations of the Chinese remainder theorem. So I'm going to try to make it clear.